Hey, welcome to this uh, Windows 10 and Computers channel and uh, this is a little tips and tricks that I've not talked about for a long time and I think you know from time to time it's um, useful to repeat some of the useful features and the useful maneuvers that you might want to do with your computer. If you want to go into the advanced options in Windows 10 that will enable you for example to boot from a USB thumb drive or to go into safe mode or recovery very simple remember this trick hold down the shift key on some computers it's the up pointing pointing arrow the left one is important and it's the left one because it doesn't work with both shift keys works on the left shift key hold it and while you hold it you'll go of course into your start button start menu you'll go into your power and you'll just click restart and after a few seconds you'll be given different options in a blue screen so if we look here you'll see it appear in a few moments and this will give you the recovery option so you've got continue which means you're rebooting on Windows 10 use a device which means you'll be able to either boot from a DVD or USB thumb drive. Um, troubleshoot, you can reset your PC or use advanced options. And of course, turn off the PC if you've not really done it, you know, if you've got here and you're like, um, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, and of course, each option has its own little set of options. Reset the PC, the advanced options are here. You got system restore, syst uh, startup repair. You can go back to previous version from here. If you've upgraded, for example, to April 2018 update, it doesn't work well. You can click go back to the previous version and it will use the files that it's saved to go back. Command prompt, if you need to uninstall a update, for example, you can actually go to the command prompt and uninstall an update. I'll do a little video explaining that. Uh, system image recovery. If you have a system image on your, on your computer, lots of uh, branded computers have that. Dell, HP, Lenovo, Toshiba, um, pretty much all have a recovery image on the drive when you buy it. Uh, you can use that to use the system image recovery. And of course, UEFI firmware settings, where you can actually change settings for the PC's uh, extended firmware. Uh, and of course, you can click see more recovery options and change, for example, startup settings. As you see here, there's a lot of little things that will uh, change and it will enable safe mode, for example, and you click the restart button if you want to do so. So all the little settings are here. All you have to do is simply choose the correct option. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Hey there, and uh, we'll continue. We'll have a little series this week on recovery options and things that you can do.